The Brothers Grimm story that's simply called The Riddle. Lots of riddles in Germanic stories. There was once a prince who had a great desire to see the world. And so he set off on his fine horse, with his servant riding beside him. And together they rode, until they came <coughs> through a forest. And there, as night fell, they sought shelter for the night. They asked a young maiden who they saw on the path. And she said, you come and stay at my stepmother's cottage, but do not eat or drink anything she offers you, for my stepmother is a witch, and she can brew very powerful potions. Heeding their advice, the prince and his servant simply slept there for the night. And the next morning, when the witch offered a cup of a potion she had brewed, the servant took it and didn't actually drink any of it. But as he rode off on his horse, some of it spilled onto the horse's back and the poison was so powerful, it killed the horse just by falling on its skin. And so the horse fell down dead. And a raven flew down from a tree and began to eat the horse flesh. But by eating the poisoned horse flesh, the raven too died. So the prince and his servant carried on through the forest until they came to a city. And the servant still had the raven. They sought the night's lodging at an inn, and there, before them, the witch had arrived, and she had joined twelve robbers, twelve murderers. The servant gave the raven to the kitchen cook, and she cooked the raven and put it in a stew that she served to the murderers and the witch. And they ate it, and so powerful was the poison within the raven that all thirteen of them died. Now, in the city was a princess who was as haughty as she was beautiful. And she had declared that she would only marry a man who could present her with a riddle that she couldn't solve. And she gave each person three days in which um, for three days for her to solve the riddle. If by the third day she hadn't solved the riddle, then she would marry them. But so far nine suitors had tried. Nine suitors had failed. But the prince was intrigued by this. And he presented her with a riddle. One killed no one, and yet killed thirteen. And the princess thought about this, and thought about this, and thought about this, and thought, finally, there is a riddle which I cannot solve. So that night, she sent her maid into the prince's bedroom to listen would he talk in his sleep? Would he give the answer to the riddle? But 
that the servant, thinking that something like this might happen, had laid down in his master's bed. So when the maid walked in with her cloak wrapped around her, he reached out and pulled off her cloak. On the second night, the same thing happened, for the princess hasn't managed to solve the riddle. So the servant pulled off her second cloak. By the third night, the prince had decided he would rather like to sleep in the bed. So <clears throat> he lay down in his own bed, but kept himself awake. And it was that night that the princess herself walked into the room in a misty grey cloak. And the prince, realising who she was, said, The raven, it didn't kill anyone, and yet thirteen died when they ate it. And he reached out and he pulled off the princess's beautiful cloud grey cloak. And the next morning the judges assembled to see whether the princess had indeed solved the riddle and whether she would whether she would marry the prince. The princess said a raven didn't kill anyone, and yet 13 people died because they ate the poisoned raven. The prince said, yes, that is the answer, but... The princess obtained the answer by trickery. And here is the cloak of her maiden. Here is the second cloak of her maid, and here is the cloak of the princess herself, which I pulled from her shoulders while she stood by my bedside listening to me speaking in my sleep. And the judges, agreeing with the prince that, yes, the princess had obtained the answer by trickery, said, Take the cloak and have it embroidered in silver, for you will wear that on your wedding day. And your wedding day will be soon. I kind of like that because it has lots of images from very, very old sort of Norse Germanic tradition of um, kind of sacrificing a horse. Horses, of course, associated horses and ravens, of course, associated with Father Odin, and of course, riddles very important in the sort of Viking Norse Germanic tradition. But I love the classic Brothers Grimm ending of the prince gets to marry the beautiful princess. So we can only hope that in the best fairy telling tradition. The best fairy tale tradition. You can do this bit with me. Come on. Come on. They all lived happily ever after. I think they did. Even the servant.